Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our training and preparation for Elastic Certified Observability Engineer exam. And uh, we start a new topic with APM. We saw in the previous video how to use APM to analyze and answer questions about APM data collected in Elasticsearch. And today we will see a new feature in the uh, APM as uh, usual, which is uh, the uh, real experience app in Kibana to analyze and answer question uh, related to uh, real user monitoring data collected in Elasticsearch. With that being said, let's jump first to uh, documentation. Uh, we will see our uh, real uh, user monitoring. We will see what, what we have and after that we jump to our uh, lab environment, right? So real user monitoring or uh, RUM for short, uh, it's like uh, as 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 the documentation said here, uh, it's to provide a way to quantify and analyze uh, the uh, perceived performance of your web application, right? So you have your web application, you have your UI, and your and the user will interact with your with the, the UI. Here you will get all the statistics about uh, this UI how each page how each uh, like everything in your page took and also uh, uh, we will see like if we get any errors or any uh, warnings we can uh, see them in the uh, in the error breakdown right uh, to download or to um, uh, for the uh, lab purpose or for the uh, certificate you don't need to do the uh, the uh, the installation of the um, of the agent right so it's a real user monitoring agent so you don't need to do the installation and the configuration you will just go there as uh, the uh, topic said here you just need to get comfortable with the app right how to navigate in the uh, in the uh, in the real experience app and after that you will be able to find the answer for the question or the scenario in the in the exam which is not the case for uh, if you're gonna use it for work, then you need to deploy um, to deploy the uh, the agent, and the steps are here documented, right? Let's jump now to our uh, environment, right? I will go here. Um, I will go to observability, and from observability, we have. Uh, we have this user uh, experience or if you don't if you scroll down a little bit you will find user experience um, uh, uh, visualization or dashboard here you will find some informations uh, here but all the details if you click here on the dashboard right so the first thing we start with is the uh, time range so you have to select the right one and from there you start or we start with, uh, for example, the web application. Here you choose if you have a list and in the scenario ask you about front end or uh, this one, this one, this one, then page one, page two, page three, whatever the names, then you, you have to respect and you select the right one. Otherwise you will not get the right answer. And here the uh, percentile, like uh, the default one is, uh, is 15th or uh, the medium, but if in the scenario, you, you, they ask about 70, 75, 80, 90, whatever, like you choose it from here. And on, also, uh, uh, we have last filter here is the uh, is the uh, the environment. If you have, I don't know, dev environment or production or here e-commerce, like you choose the right one. Okay. Um, here you can also filter based on the URL. So as you can see here, we just click and it show us the URLs that we uh, that we have, as you can see here, we have uh, we have uh, our website, let's say, or the page. So here, if you choose and select apply, it will apply <coughs> this filter on uh, uh, or uh, apply this filter on all the uh, information that that we have. For example, the page load, the metrics, the core web viral, uh, and and the rest of the. Um, of the information we we will uh, go one by one okay so the first thing is the page load so here it's uh, calculate since we didn't specify it will apply on all the web page that we have and here it will tell you how long like it take uh, to show uh, the page so here is if you have the uh, the question 
the medium for the last seven days how long so you copy paste the uh, answer as it is if they ask about the back end for example and here if you see uh, the question mark so you read here is total but if you want to get more details so this is total uh, represent the full page load duration I mean you open a link and how long it took like this is the median from uh, the average for seven days and all the pages we have in our platform it's one second th 43 right um, here for example backend as backend time uh, represent time to uh, first byte which is uh, when the first response packet is received after the request has been made so this is how long uh, it took uh, we have front end the back end is the same or sorry the front end they, they represent the total uh, page load duration uh, minus the back end time right so it's it's uh, this uh, or this minus this give you this value right and this is uh, the total page views uh, how many visitor or how many view you have uh, in total right this is the first thing uh, now for the metrics uh, here for example we have uh, first contentful paint so if you uh, this uh, FCP or uh, first contentful paint uh, focus on the uh, initial rendering and measuring the time so this uh, if you get a question or they ask about the first or uh, FCP then you have the value here for sure again and again you have to select the right filter whatever like the environment the time range and the url to get the right one right uh, if there is any blocking time you will find it here uh, long task uh, like if there is any uh, long task we will find the value here uh, this is a number and this is a duration like this uh, like one two three or whatever and here in in uh, in, uh, in millisecond and here the total like the uh, here just the longest like the one the task that took too long the, the longest one and there is the the total of long tasks next we have a uh, core web uh, viral or like here you can uh, click on the link and it will redirect us to the uh, more detail about this uh, feature but if the question is is related to this one then you uh, you or if they ask about the largest contentful uh, paint then you have the answer here right this is good this is need improvement this is poor right so it's 96 good uh two percent and two percent two percent poor and two percent uh, need to improve so if the question is like what's the average uh, for good and need to improve and poor largest or largest content for pain then you have the values here and here you have in millisecond and here in percentage and here also uh, cumulative layout shift so you get the value here as well and here we have uh, we have page load distribution so if you move your mouse here you will get uh, you will get the details about uh, how long is is taking so as you can see here uh, 2.5 seconds uh, 5 seconds and so on and so forth and uh, here the total page uh, views then you uh, you like you move you will find the source and the number uh, uh, or the total page view you get all the uh, all the detail if you want to also break down this for example if you want to see per os then you click and you get like from linux android windows like you if you want also to create a filter or you want to see just ios then you click and you get here if like the question was the peak you can for ios you can select like the first you break down per OS and like here you break down per OS and here you choose iOS and here you move for the last seven days for example here it's 3.1 right and the percentage is 12% that's uh, that's one way uh, here the same uh, the uh, let's say per uh, browser like they said what's the total page view per browser or for Firefox for example you click on Firefox is we show you here the um, the total if they ask for a peak for example 
you move and see or you compare which one is the is the is the peak and you uh, you you give the answer next if you want to see uh, the duration per uh, per region you will be able to see the in uh, in the map uh, which region like uh, and the duration per uh, per region so you can uh, quickly find the answer from the map uh, for sure like it's loading here i don't know what's uh, what's the issue or I, it's gonna take a time or i don't know what's the, what's uh, what's the let me i will reduce the time maybe it will or just go with the last 24 hour <laughs> see maybe it will get back a result anyways uh, here uh you see the visitor breakdown per browser so as you can see here to give you a quick answer about the uh, the users or the visitors so most of them 84 percent using a chrome and 84 percent of them using uh, linux as the operation system right so if you want to filter or if you like uh, the the question is about the percentage then you can copy paste the percentage finally finally we have the uh, we have the error let me just expand this maybe okay anyways it didn't show anything okay as there is something happening here yeah Anyways, uh, the last thing that I want to highlight is also if there is any uh, breakdown for errors. The, so we have JavaScript uh, used for the front, front end and there is the, uh, this is the error. So if you click on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the error, it redirects us to APM as we saw in the previous video and to the services and here you can go deeper or dig in the issue or try to understand and troubleshoot the, the issue. Let's go back now to um dashboard and summarize okay so we get to the end of the of the video so uh, again you don't need to do the deployment so make sure to uh, follow step by step and try to get familiar with the different uh, features here and to be able to answer the question during the exam right with that being said we get to the end of this uh, video let me know if you have any uh, question in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video